hours, hour of the shift and afterwards. They said every few minutes, the what was considered north was changing in this hardened magma, showing a fairly rapid alteration of the Earth's magnetic field in relationship to the, the crust, which had moved. So these are scientific evidences that this has happened in the past. Would you say that the uh, unusual events that are tra transpiring now will eventually lead to what many fear will be a major shift of the Earth's poles? Yeah, the, they, the Zetas have said as the North Pole is pushed away uh, and, and the crust and the core begin to move, but the crust rips from the core and keeps moving and the core realigns. But the current North Pole will be on the equator. The current South Pole will be on the equator. The Pacific shortens, the Atlantic widens, and the new South Pole will become India, right over India, which will be pushed entirely under the Himalayas, and all in India will drown. And the new North Pole will be off the uh, coast of Brazil, off the bulge of Brazil in the, in the Atlantic there, and sudden climate change for the people in that area who are used to, obviously, uh, a tropical, you know, temperature, not prepared at all for something like uh, trudging around uh, Antarctica or the, or the North Pole. Is the shift um, already happening to some degree? Um, no. We, we are having a wobble, but, but the magnetic field itself has been uh, uh, tw twisting, you know, somewhat. Uh, this pressure from the north pole of the planet X, you know, hosing magnetic particles at the Earth, at the Earth is warping of the Earth's magnetic field. In fact, <clears throat> there was something that came out recently um, from NASA <clears throat> talking about a breach in what they consider the protective magnetosphere, they, their theory is that the magnetosphere uh, protects the Earth from um, solar winds and the like coming from the sun. And they said there has been a breach in this field four times the size of the Earth that scientists have no explanation for on the sun side. Well, it just so happens that planet X is four times the diameter of Earth, and it is between the Earth and the Sun. And I thought I thought that was a remarkable correlation to what the Zetas have stated about where planet X is at the moment and how big it is. What does NASA know about what's going on? Apparently, they know quite a bit. They're a government yeah. agency, correct? Yeah, they they uh, they have to be aware. There are people in the ISS, you know, in the shuttle program. Uh, many astronomers uh, know they work in the observatories. They know this, um, uh, you know, complex came in in 2003. People say, oh, you couldn't keep them all silenced. Well, they they work for observatories. They work for governments, you know, in universities which rely on grants. And these people can be leaned upon. And there have been enough assassinations of astronomers or other people like that to uh, to and you don't need to kill off a bunch of people uh, to put the fear of of this in, in you know just a, a Harriman uh, way back when uh, what is it 15 years ago or so he went to New Zealand he was associated with the Naval Observatory uh, and was aware of the sighting you know of, of this complex in 1983 coming inbound went to New Zealand with a big telescope and said he was going to observe it and he was going to report to mankind what, what was going on, and pretty soon he was dead. And, and this, it does, this, this gets around. People are sad, told, you know, well, you, you value your life, your family, your children, whatever. Don't say anything. Uh, and, and, uh, and then uh, there aren't that many people. They say, well, what about the amateurs? Well, most of the photos on my website are from amateurs amateur astronomers who have photographed the Planet X complex. And I watched how they're treated on SciAstro Amateur, which is a Usenet. Um, they have an astronomer or two will come in and poo-poo anybody who says, I think Nancy's right, I looked here and this is what I found. Uh, and, and they get ridiculed. And then pretty soon their ISP is informed that they're spamming and maybe they should be cut off. They tried this with me. They tried to convince my ISP to cut off my Internet connection. <laughs> so I've, I've actually heard from astronomers who I will not name, or one in particular, uh, that, that I'm on, on, on target with everything that I have been reporting. Uh, uh, and, and so 
where does somebody go? An amateur is going to go to a university or, you know, to some astronomy club who is run by NASA. In 2001, when it was still out in the night sky, we had three different teams, one in France, one in Vancouver, and uh, uh, one in Arizona, uh, in Flagstaff, who went to observatories to see. And it was first sighted in France, very excited, and an astronomer said, I think it's either a nova about, you know, pulsing, or it's something, you know, he had different theories, but he was all excited, he had a new discovery, we never did get, you know, the the um, film that was taken. He was silenced in France. Then uh, a week or two later, um, the team in Arizona went, and they found, even though they had like uh, um, made reservations and the like to go, scaffolding had been put up so that the scope could not be pointed in the direction of Orion. But an astronomer there who was an assistant, didn't not, not realizing the reason for this, found another scope and, and a smaller one, and they looked and they found, uh, you know, um, something that was visible. Where at the Zeta coordinates, the, the X and Y in the sky that Zetas had given for that date, and Vancouver experienced the same thing. The guy yeah. did it threw all kinds of rocks in the way, but they found it and they sighted it. I've heard um, recently. I don't know how true this is. Um, that the Roman Catholic Church, uh, they have, a, of course, a huge library there at the Vatican. They're in the process right now of moving those records out of Rome, because Rome is really not that high above sea level, moving it out of Rome and into, I believe, uh, a higher location. I don't know if it's within the Swiss Alps or somewhere in northern France. Uh, moving all of those records, of course, their excuse is that they're remodeling the facility and it's going to take a couple of years to remodel and it should be done by the end of 2010. Well, by 2010, there might be a lot of strange things going on. Right. You know, so what does the Roman Catholic Church know about this? And apparently they have telescopes all over the world. In fact, they have a telescope in Arizona, which yeah, is observing the... the heavens. Why is the church observing the heavens? Yeah, they know, uh, and they're, uh, they're the the flock should be pretty angry. You know, they also know what the third Fatima was about. Uh, they they came up with the excuse that it was about the assassination of a pope, but that didn't wouldn't necessarily have those three children falling on the on the ground screaming. You know, uh, an assassination of a pope, but but what it was was uh, flooding. You know, with a massive flooding along coastlines and drownings. And the Pope, Pope John, the one before the current Pope, actually gave this away, and I think it was 1980, in a, a lecture in Germany. He said, if the people were to find that, you know, so much drowning, et cetera, uh, you know, and in, in, in that nothing could be done, so many would drown, why, why bother them with that fact? You know, it would affect their life, the quality of their life, the happiness of their life at present. So he basically gave it away. You know what what the third Fatima secret is? Yeah, they have a scope in in Tucson. I'm not sure about others, but but it's called the Pope Scope down there, uh, because they know and they're peaking and they want to know the status, uh, how close it's getting, the timing. People are trying to figure out the timing. The elite are you know stocking their bunkers. Uh, they intend to go uh, and use militia to defend themselves. Um, and and. Uh, they some of the very very wealthy people very wealthy people you know have been notified um and it it depends it depends somewhat on who you know i have an interesting story about somebody worked with a troubled times group uh and he had a cia uh and dod security clearance and he was totally convinced that zeta talk was on target and we were all this was going to happen um and maybe he knew something he couldn't say right but he had been given a security clearance with the CIA in order to debug their satellites and the like, um, and uh, the NSA and the like. Uh, so um, his he had a wealthy uncle in t Texas who was an agro uh, businessman, big enough in Texas, you know, which is very Republican, to be quote connected and maybe get the inside rumors, right? Get the inside track. So he went to his um, uh, his father. Anyway, this wealthy Republican in Texas was asked the question about whether there was truth.